Hello. Hello. We are back with Evil Within, part two. We Welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's. Exactly, Five Nights at Freddy's. Where's the camera? Where did it go? I need kitty cuddles right now. I'm too scared. Thanks. Yeah, we've actually got two monitors up. Uh, the other one has pictures of cute doggies. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're ready to go. We are ready to go with our favorite guy, Sebastian. Detective Castellanos. Detective Castellanos. Castellanos. Castellan. Castaway. Detective Castaway. Oh, there's a, uh, a statue on your left there. Oh, so there is. Just punch the shit out of it. I feel awkward. Punch it. No, punch it better. There you go, I punched it. Well done. Oh, praise, it's a key. Yeah, this is much better. Great game play, great gram fix. Great gram effects. We are exactly getting 30 frames per second, so. Three? Yeah, we're getting... I love PowerPoints. My wife just put. A, a calendar of kitty cuddles right next to me with a uh, with a napkin and then on the napkin there's a written note saying look at this when you get scared there we go perfect perfect this is emotional it's, inspiration it's bacon mental hospital it's a bacon you see I'm still Debating if this is all in in Sebastian's mind or not. Well, like I said, the back of the box says "Enter the mind of a madman," so I'll leave that to you. What that means? It means barbed wires, of course. Well, I actually fucking love the bar barbed wire aesthetic. The question now is, should I sneak or not? Uh, that is entirely up to you. I've played this game before, and it's not fair for me to give you. Advice. I just like to watch you suffer. You're a kind soul. Gonna throw this I'm just here to be productive and not do anything productive. Exactly. Can you stop being an ass and just turn around, please? He's like, wow, look at this fucking hay bale. Middle he gear. was just admiring that. He was admiring he was just that admiring. hay bale. The hay bale, and you just hay bale. fucked him. You fucked him. Yeah, I mean, penetration. I don't know. Are you uh, are you implying something? I am making it into window. That's for sure. You're making it. it would you like to try saying that word again? Into window. An innuendo. That's what I said. An innuendo. You said an into window. I said an innuendo. <laughs> and the window. Stop it. <laughs> I speak English. It sounds like a what do you, what do you call it? like a some kind of supernatural creature like a chupacabra or an endowindo? We should put that in the game an endowindo. An endowindo. <laughs> yeah, it should be a creature. Look at him. He's so happy. He's just having a good time. He's having a good time next to the bonfire. He must be pretty cold. This is a game about stealth. Yeah. This is Psycho Mantis. You've been playing Super Mario Sunshine, haven't you? Look at that. I completely bypassed them. Yeah. It's amazing. It's like you could have a button that makes you crouch and be quiet or something. What? I don't know what button that is. Oh. I don't play buttons. I just use them. Oh, shit. <laughs> playing uh, the Game Boy version on an emulator. Exactly. <laughs> the Evil Within, the Game Boy Color version. Yeah. Now this is the original Game Boy. Exactly. You it's like, uh, it's the sequel to Kirby's Dream Land. Exactly. Do you remember how yesterday we were talking about how we could make, we should make the minimum requirements up to like a potato, like a yes. Game Boy Color game? So yeah, The Witcher 3 can definitely do that. I'd seen like mods of Geralt looking like he was on a PS1 game. That's m amazing. I love it. So 
So I, I don't buy these people saying that you can't make the minimum as far as, you know, I think you can make the minimum as low as possible. Yeah, there are some games where, like, they have complicated mechanics and, like, require a high frame rate to be actually usable. Yeah. But there are other games that you can just downgrade the shit out of everything. You can run on pretty much any system. I know, look at Skyrim. Yeah, exactly. I'm pretty sure they could release Skyrim for the GameCube. They probably could. Get on that, Todd Howard. Skyrim for GameCube remake, please. Yeah, I, I fucking loved that Skyrim for Alexa skit. Yeah, I know. It's D&D, <laughs> it's D&D pretty much. Yeah. I'm gonna hide here. It feels comfortable. Alien Isolation was a game. It, is, it was a game. Oh, I wish it wasn't VR so badly. Yeah, it would be, it would be amazing. I mean, people already consider it to be, like, one of the better horror games as far as, like, being actually scary. I agree. Because it's tense as shit. Like, even saving, it's like your heart's pounding. Yeah, because even while you do save the... Oh, thank you. You know, the alien could get at you easily. I got killed once saving, and it made me very upset. That happened to me, too. Maybe that's a game we should revisit. Oh, definitely. I really wish Isolation 2 will happen. I hope that does come to fruition. Absolutely. There. I'm a health boy now. Good job, my son. Well, I know there's a... You see, that's how you attract attention. Oh, that's what I was thinking of. Oh, shit! Oh, oh, oh! He, he looks at you. He gave you them bedroom eyes. He did give me those bedroom eyes. Oh, Sebastian, right. stop it. Stop it. You yeah. forgot you're a smoker. <laughs> I'm a heavy-duty smoker. COPD is within my yeah. lungs. You know, I have an idea. Did, do you have a brain blast? I did have a brain blast. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> what? <laughs> Thank you. Seriously. That was rude. Oh, man. Extremely. Look at the traps. I don't think they can walk into those ones. I'm just playing Ring Around the Rosie at this point. Honestly, if I can, I want to save. Oh, my. If only you had, like, a, a gun or something. Well, I don't want to use it. I only have three bullets. This is amazing. Quality. Quality right here. Look at that. The, the masterful AI, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't even know what to do. Should I just... I could shoot him right now. I have no problem. But the question is, do I want to waste some bullets? I mean, is there any other way you could, like, get around him? And... Stab him in the brain hole? If I wait for 20 minutes, he'll eventually settle down and then I can do something. Just give him some, um, Ritalin. Ritalin, exactly. And I wasted all the bullets. We're doing good. This is good. You see, this, it's not even going to be a stream of me, or not a stream, a video of me, uh, <laughs> of actually getting anywhere. It's going to be me sneaking around for... Uh, how many minutes are we in? Nine minutes right now? Yeah, we're probably gonna have to end this episode soon. Yes. Yep, that's how you do it. There we go. 
Now we're pushing buttons. I know how to push buttons well. Oh, now you can use his torch to kill the other guy. I can. I'm gonna burn him. But why? Because I can. Oh, look how he burns. Okay. Did, did I see a pickup? Not something I want. It's a bottle. A bottle. Oh look, he has a torch too. We're gonna have a torch fight. Oh well, that was, <laughs> that was anticlimactic. There we go. Torch fights for everyone, except for you. Nah, I don't want the torch. I'm okay. Are you sure? I am sure. Torches are for losers. Oh, it got dark all of a sudden. Well, luckily you have a lamp. It's actually a lantern. Imagine how many mobs would just surround you carrying that around. Too many. I don't trust that. I don't trust that at all. You don't? I trust it. I don't. He's dead. He was already dead. Well, now he's super dead. He can't get more crispy than that. You sure showed him. I did show him. I showed him good. It's the last time he thinks about being dead. Yeah, I know. How dare he be dead. Well done. I know, I didn't run into him this time. I hear a thing. You wanna hide under the bed and call it an episode? Is that serious or? Yeah. If you want to, yeah. Alright, we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.